I've always been struck by the fact that in our history, it said that we don't know much about Gladstone's ancestral background. Um, and I always thought that was kind of interesting that we knew so little about a man who has given us so much. And I thought to myself one night, well, what can I find out about Gladstone? I started with um, the, what we knew about him in the Institute documents um, with his date of birth and that he lived in Canada when he immigrated over from London when he was young. And so I started there, but I wasn't actually getting anywhere because, well, Gladstone wasn't born Gladstone. He was born Jacob David Goldstein. How I found that out was when I found his immigration paperwork from back in the 40s um, when he was applying for basically permanent residency. He came over as a basically a salesperson, and he didn't actually start his real estate development business until his mid-40s. And that, I think, was very fascinating, that someone who had no experience in real estate development in his mid-40s decided to take a stab at it. There were lots of artifacts left online. There were newspaper articles of when he built his shopping centers. Found over 100 articles written about his, his dealings as a real estate developer in Los Angeles very passionate about what he did, um, very involved. It was clear that he put a lot of time and energy into his shopping centers to make sure that they reflected um, his values and the values of the community that he built them in. 